Hi everyone, welcome back to Code Step by Step. My name is Anil. This is the second part for Angular 12 series. And uh, in this video, we will learn that how we can set up and install our first Angular application. So these are the points for this video. First point is we will uh, install Node and NPM. After that, we will install Angular CLI. So Angular CLI is a command line tool that help us to build Angular application. And with the help of Angular CLI, we will make our first Angular app. And uh, at the last, we will discuss some interview questions also. So now let's uh, start with the first question and download Node. So for that, I will just go to the Google and uh, Google Chrome and just write here nodejs.org. And after that, you can download stable version, which is recommended by the Node. So just click on here. So if you are not using Windows and uh, if you are using uh, Linux, Ubuntu or Mac OS, then uh, just go to the uh, download link and from here you can download the setup according to your uh, operating system. So let's wait to the download uh, this Angular setup, then we will install it. So let me open it in the another tab so that we can check the process. So setup is downloaded now, we can just go to the folder and we can double click on the node setup. After that, we have to just uh, go with some steps like uh, first of all, it will just uh, ask to go for the next with the wizard. So just select the next. After that here, if you are installing Angular first time, then maybe you have an option to installation checkbox and agreement and all. But here I already have the Node.js in my system. That's why it will just ask me to change, repair or remove. So I can just select here change. You will just uh, uh, check the checkbox for the agreement of node installation and just select the next option and it will just take a few moments to install it and after that uh, we can check that this is installed or not with the command line so let's open the command line and just simply write here node minus v and it will tell the output so whenever we will install the node the npm is also automatically installed in our system so you can check here npm minus v and here we go both are installed that's great so now we can jump on the second step so let's close these tabs and uh, in the another tab let's write here angular cli and go to the official website of angular cli right and see in the angular cli there is a lots of command and we will use these command in the upcoming videos also but for a moment we need only three command first of all we have to install it after that uh, we will create our first application with these command right so uh, again let's open your command line and simply write here that command just write here npm install so guys uh, before that you might have a question that where in which folder you have to run this command see you can run this command in any folder in any directory because we are using here minus g minus g means we are installing angular cli globally in our operating system so you can install it in the c drive desktop in a d drive anywhere it will be installed globally and you can use angular cli in anywhere in your system right so just simply put here npm install minus g at the rate angular cli slash cli and uh, it will just take some moments and uh, within that time we can uh, wait for it so here now we are done with the angular cli and how we can check it version its version so just simply put here ng version and here you can uh, just see the version of angular cli as well as the angular also so see the angular cli version is here 12 node version is this and the npm version is this it will just tell the old details keep in mind if your angular cli version is 12 that means whenever you will install your first application the angular version in that application will be 12 if angular cli version is uh, uh, 9 10 or uh, 11 then your your angular application version will be according to it right so now let's uh, just create our first angular application we can just close that uh, command line and uh, we can just go to the dashboard here because we are going to create our new folder 
inside dashboard angular tilt and uh, inside it let's again open command line and uh, simply put here ng this command is provided by the angular cli that we just installed before it right so just simply put here ng new and our application name it can be let's say blog in my case you can put any name to your application whatever you want so now whenever you start the angular application it will ask some questions like you want to add the angular routing so for a moment i can say no because i don't need angular writing uh, routing after that it will ask me what kind of style you want to use so i just want to use simple css and all and uh, it will just start creating the files and creating your folder and here you can see that your folder for your project is created here right so let's wait for a moment so angular app is installed now what we can do here now uh, let's go inside the blog folder and uh, just simply run here uh, ng serve ng serve command and uh, this command basically uh, start our our application so that we can run it on our browser so even here you also can see that these same commands are uh, given here in the command line so first of all we have to create ng new and uh, after that our project name after that we have to go go to inside the folder and run ng serve first time it will take uh, some time to uh, uh, create the bundling and uh, starting the uh, ng server after that it will just take some like uh, 20 to 30 second right because first time it will just uh, uh, maintaining the cache and all right so within that time this is just uh, creating the build and all creating the bundling we can discuss some interview question so the first interview question is uh, how you can install specific angular version so here you can see that we installed angular 12 version so if you want to install the angular 11 10 or 9 version how you can install it there is a two way to do that so first of all uh, i just want to show that our project is uh, is specifically inside the angular 12 so for that let's go to the blog folder and just open it with the uh, visual studio code or any code editor command dot a uh, code dot command will be work only if your system uh, visual studio code is installed if uh, you are using the notepad plus plus or sublime or brackets then it, it this command will not gonna work and uh, let's just go to the package dot json and here you can see that angular animation angular common compiler call everything with that angular 12 version so now the question is how you can install any specific version of angular 12 so there is a two way first way is you can just simply put here your specific version like angular 10 or uh, uh, angular 9 or angular 12 with the old cases of the angular right second thing is <coughs> sorry for that what you can do here you can uninstall your current uh, uh, angular cli and you can install any specific version so currently if you just check here ng version then you will find that we are uh, we have angular 12 version here that's why the everything is the uh, all versions of all libraries is, is angular 12 so if we are able to install angular 11 then our project also uh, created with the angular 11 version so how you can do it for that first of all you have to remove your angular current cli and just simply use here npm install minus g at the rate angular slash cli after that you can use here at the rate and specific version like 9.0.0 or 9.1.0 you can specify the version and after that just use here ng new and your project name com command and uh, then you will get the uh, your project with a specific angular version right and the second question is uh, uh, you, our uh, a compiler is also ready for uh, running the project so just go to the browser and run it on the 4200 port number so how do i know that i have to just use 4200 port number the local host here you can see that this is clearly mentioned that your angular live development server is listening on the local host and 4200 port right that's why i just put here the second question is can we <laughs> can we use two angular uh, two node.js version in the same system yes for that we have to use nvm which is the node version manager 
you can install it and just follow some instruction and you can use the two angle two node js version in the same operating system right and uh, thanks for watching this video if you still have any kind of query you can ask me in the comment box don't forget to subscribe my channel and like this video